Hi, my name is Warren Ibbotson from Rockwell Automation, and today I'm here with Derek Jones, also from Rockwell. He's one of the co-authors of the Machinery Safe Book series, and today we're going to cover uh, the introduction of Safe Book 5 and give you some background to uh, what the book offers and some thoughts from one of the co-authors, as I mentioned, Derek Jones. So welcome, Derek. Hi, Warren. So Safe Book 5, what, uh, what, what are your thoughts of, uh, around why we've recently introduced this? I guess uh, it's, it's the latest of a line of, of uh, Safe Books, going from Safe Book uh, 1, which I see interestingly you've bought with you, Safe did, Book yes. 1 from 1992. The original but, one, yes. Yeah, and, and we've, we've continued over the years to update that to represent the changes in the standards and the regulations that it's discussing and also of course the, the technology that's used in machinery safety. In, in both there's been significant changes, some changes bigger than others. Uh, for Safe Book 5 there's no huge incremental stage but a collection of things that put together definitely make a difference especially if you're designing a safety related system. So Safe Book 5 has got uh, lots of probably detailed things on, on, on this update that you would need to know and it's it's a convenient place to to find out about them. Okay and, and you mentioned you know it's a, a new update what would you say are like two or three of the key things that have changed really from the last Safe Book, Safe Book 4 to the new Safe Book 5 that we're releasing now? The, I think the key changes in, in the last few years, well, well first of all let me just explain before we go into any of the detail, the, the, the idea of Safe Book is to talk about what is here and now. So it, it, it's talking again about the current state of the art in machinery safety and not necessarily what is coming in the future we're trying to talk about what you need to do now. We've got lots of other things within Rockwell to tell us about what's coming. Lots of services and expertise. So in this safe book, it's, it's the changes in the fundamental generic functional safety standards, such as IEC 62061 and ISO 13849. I think anybody that's involved with the design of safety related systems for machinery will, will instantly recognize either or both those names. And, and when we wrote Safe Book 4, we had the anticipation of a merged version of those standards. We were, we were going to have a standard that would have been called uh, ISO IEC 17305. Now that, that didn't happen and I guess most people out there know that by now it's it's actually not necessarily completely stopped but it's been set to the dormant status okay regarding IEC tech, uh, ISO technology but what is happening that ISO 1730 so ISO 13849 and IEC 61261 are carrying on now at the same time we've had a number of other standards that have kind of converted if you like to the uh, functional safety uh, ethos uh, structure as represented by 13849, 6261, IC 61508, etc. So now we have some of the standards, for example, the standard for interlocking switches happens to be called ISO 14119. And that's had a fairly major revision a, a year or so ago and brings in the, the, the essence of functional safety and in the detail of that if you are designing for example uh, a gate interlock circuit there are things you'd need to know now we try and represent some of that detail in SafeBook it, it isn't the standard you still need to go and get it you still need to go and use it but SafeBook is kind of the thing that you A make you aware of it B help you find it go and, and, and help you look at it in the right way and that kind of sums up the reason that it's there so we've we've had you know 
incremental changes in standards, nothing huge, but certainly things that may mean that you need to do something differently now than perhaps if you've been doing the same job three or four years ago. Okay. And and you mentioned that it's a it's a good guidebook for for some of this information around standards and where to get it. I noticed on the front, it, you know, you wrote here the principles and the implementation of machinery safety as well as like standards guidance. So just tell me a little bit more about um, the, your approach there. It's, it's more of a, as I think you've mentioned to me before, more of a guidebook yeah. uh, rather than an instruction manual. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I, I, in many ways, um, it is a guidebook and you cannot give a recipe book for safety. You know, safety is not a recipe, it's not a set of instructions. Safety is about fundamental principles. The way you actually implement those principles will be guided by lots of things, but probably mostly what, what actually is required at any specific application that you're dealing with. And the standards are no different. The standards are written to try and get over the guiding principles that should be followed. Because machinery is now so diverse and is getting ever more diverse, it's, it's, it's now getting difficult to exactly define a machine. What is a machine? What's a process? In the same way as what is a robot? What is a robot? that now moves around on something that once upon a time would have called an AGV. So, so everything is, is getting mixed. So you cannot do something that covers all of it. The standards are, are written in the same. SafeBook tries to bring over the same thing. It has more freedom than a standard, of course. It, it can be written in a more conversational style. It can be written in a style, and is intentionally written in a style, that is global. You know the. The, 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 the whole business of machinery safety, and of course that means you know, the sale of machines, the uh, uh, sale of machines by machine builders to machine users, and the use of machines to produce goods that we all buy, is very much a completely global process. So one of the reasons behind Machinery Safe Book is to bring together a global approach, something that is, is kind of fits wherever you go. Now there'll be some fine detail depending where you are. Obviously some things will be kind of different if you're in the EU than if maybe if you're in China or the US, but the whole thing is the same. And we try and bring that out in SafeBook. So it's principles. And I'm very happy to say, so to after many years, I mean we truly are getting very similar principles in the standards due to the use of ISO and IEC standards. Uh, uh, there are references in SafeBook that will take you to you know, national standards. There are also references that will take you to global standards and where to find out more. But I think the intent, and, and I hope we've achieved it, is if, if, if you sit down at, and read say, and it's not big, you know, it's not an encyclopedia. You, you, you can actually sit down and read it all fairly easily. But I think if you can assimilate what's in there, by the time you put it down again, I think you've got a, a good feeling, a rounded picture in your mind of what it's all about. And most importantly, you know where to go and look next. Yeah, that's good points. I noticed also in SafeBook, um, in Safe, particularly in Machine SafeBook 5, as opposed to the previous versions, there's some references now to um, I think what we call safety functions, and yeah. also to some of the technologies that Rockwell offer. Yeah. What was your thoughts around yourself and the other co-authors around putting that information into the guidebook? Yeah, it, it's actually this. Yeah, if, if we're honest, th this this represents a bit of a change from past safe books, uh, and I hope I hope we've made it. We've done it for the right reasons. In the past, we've always tried to keep safe book as far as we can uncommercial mm -hmm. because it, its task is genuinely there to to spread knowledge uh, and you know uh, I think that this this section of industry that we're in in machinery safety you know one of its tasks is to spread good information this is 
one way it works to disseminate information that, that, that helps in understanding of safety. Uh, and, and that sometimes isn't helped by just you know, being too commercial about it. However, because we have uh, now more complexity in safety and more diversity, and as I said, the nature of what is a machine is changing quite rapidly and will continue to do so, then we need to somehow uh, show the width of what we've got. Now, as we say, Safe Book 5 is a nice overview, nice and compact. If you go a layer under that, you hit lots of detail. So, for example, within Rockwell, we have, we have had teams of people who actually produce you know, sample or example safety functions over a large range of, of types and applications. Uh, you can download these at machinesafetysolutions.com. So in SafeBook, we just put one in. We just put one example in. And to say, you know, this is, this is an example. This is not necessarily the way you'll do it for your application, but it's a good guide. If, if you're wanting some structure, some sort of outline, a template to follow, that's a good guide. And of course, that's great having it on our website, but if nobody knows to go there, it doesn't really help. And, and some of the other tools, some of the tools for uh, calculation of the performance level, and, and some of the tools like SAB for helping you to, to graphically uh, portray the safety function and record information. These are really important things. Yes, the, the, we can say they've got you know, our name on it and it's it, the, some sort of commercial content to it, but they're also really important things that have to be done with the standards. So. We're trying to help people do things in a, in a properly structured way. And I guess one of our tasks is to try and prevent the complexity of the standardization. One of the things we look at in functional safety is it's, it's all too easy to think this is all about documentation. Reams and reams of documents and all I want to do is design an e-stop or a gate interlock system. That, that can't be too hard. And it shouldn't be too hard in terms of documentation. So you know, safe, safe, safe book five again is, is sort of it's the lead into that. We've got lots of other stuff, including you know uh, the reference to the standards that are going to help you through. But if you don't know why you're doing it and you don't know the principle behind it in the first place, it's easy to lose control and find the whole thing just a confusing mess. So you know, this is the the step that will hopefully help you to be guided through it. Excellent. Great. So thanks for your time, Derek, uh, giving us a quick overview of, uh, of SafeBook 5. And uh, if you want to request a physical copy or download it, Safe Machine SafeBook 5 is available in uh, multiple languages. And you can order that on the safety website from rockwellautomation.com at machinesafetysolutions.com. Thanks for your time today, and we hope you find Machine SafeBook 5 interesting.